Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of our custom control panels. Each panel we build that has some type of custom functionality gets a video like this made. Now they're not shot for angles, they're not shot to really teach anything. It's really just to show the customer that they're getting the functionality that they're looking for. But I thought they'd be good examples to people who are looking to build control panels or have an idea and they're not exactly sure how to develop it. So let's go ahead and hit play on this one. 480 volt three phase coming in. Here is your 30 horsepower motor. This is your three horsepower drive and your dust collector is going to connect over here. On the front, we've got screw conveyor, start, stop. That's the 30 horsepower. We have the dust collector, that's 120 volt. And then we have the cement feeder, which we have a hand off and auto for. So let's start with the dust collector. It's terminal one and two down here. So I got a voltage and I put it here. And this is the dust collector relay. So I'll switch it on. We got 120 volt here and your light goes on there. Next we have the 30 horsepower for your screw conveyor and it's a basic start stop. Press the start, press the stop. And then we have a handoff auto for your cement feeder, and that is the drive here. So in hand, you're gonna see this run up to 60. You may have to change the Excel and D-cell for your application. We'll turn it back off, and it goes down. All right, and then we switch to auto, and between terminals nine and 10 over here, we have it set up for a separate 24 volt power supply. So I'm just using an external power supply to represent that. And we'll put it between nine and 10. And one, here's the remote relay. And here's the seam pit feeder run relay. So if I switch it to the off position, you're gonna see that your 24 volt signal is gonna signal this one. And if we go back to auto, then this one actually is what's running this. And we see it going up to 60. And we let off. Also, if you need to adjust the speed, just while it's running, just press your down arrow. And, you know, I can take it down to, let's say, 53 hertz. And I can hit the up arrow and I can take it back to 60. So really easy to operate there. And then finally, we have the silo high and the silo low. So terminal three and four is going to be our high. Now I have the buzzer unplugged for now, just so I can show you and not have to hear that. So I'll plug it in between three and four. And one, this relay here is gonna come in. And then on the front, you see we have silo high. And then five and six is gonna be silo low. And that's this relay right here. And we get a green light for silo low. And finally, we have the buzzer. So we'll plug it in. And so between three and four. And then between five and six. If you happen to have a custom control panel you're looking to get built, please feel free to contact us. Here are some other custom control panel videos we have that you may find helpful. And YouTube thinks that you'll like these videos. Also, please hit the subscribe button. We put out at least one video a week. And if you find our videos helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our service, then please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Till next time.